Welcome to Tech Talks. Today I have Tokwe Aleke, who is the um, founder and the driver of um, Cast ING, um, uh, a platform that connects actors to movies, their dreams, and their, their ambitions. And Tokwe is also a winner of BET7, and so glad to have him on board. So, Tokwe, welcome to Tech Talks. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. And so, tell us about Cast ING. How did this start? How did it start and how is it doing and what's your aspirations for that? Um, okay, actually it started yielding to an industry call for, from actors who got tired of the regular way that auditions happened. They are normally crowded in a very small place and they are in their thousands and they spend like the entire day there and there is no guarantee that you get a role by the way. Yeah. So we said, what if people can actually still stay in their houses or in any part of this country or world actually that they are and they can still be seen and still be filtered through and the casting directors will be able to stream down to a few people that they would like to physically see and we yielded we did this and um what this is doing now is we have this platform where i say you i think it was a calling you know it sounds like a political well yeah know, it's, like, it's people calling call me and told me and you, know, like, you, need, you need to uh, yes you need to as long as there's cash is behind it okay yes yeah we yielded <laughs> actually and the reason is because i got really bothered and i mean i got i get calls every now and then about ah, Tokwe, please can i get this role do you know any producer trying to hire someone okay. and i get calls from producers say Tokwe, do you have this actor okay, so and i'm like okay wait i've been sense. fixing you guys how about if i get paid for doing this job so we just built this platform and their profiles are there live people can go there you see their bios their work reel either video or audio and you can hire them and the good thing about our platform is the filtering system the algorithm is built in a way that with everything that the actor uses to register, that is what is going to be used to hire. So if the casting director says, I'm looking for a five foot seven girl tall who speaks English with a French accent, automatically everyone on our platform who sort of matches that criteria sure gets pulled. Yes. So, and he can actually send um, scripts and requests for videos on our platform. That way he keeps cutting down. He can just click a button that says, for residents of Lagos only, because I don't have budget for flights and hotel. See, that cuts down to like maybe say 10. Fantastic. So let me ask the question. So how is it? I mean, I'm sure it's a no-brainer for the um, for the people who want to get casted. But was it was it easy for the casting directors to see the benefit of this? And I ask this question because I think that sometimes, as you said, they might not want to share their script on the platform or to the people just in yes, case yes, in case yes. somebody reads it. Uh, for the casting directors, it. yes, um, it wasn't easy getting them on board because they tell you um what changes in the way we've been doing things but they themselves have been going through lots of stress right so you gather five thousand people in a hall you are just human anyway if you possibly see them for three minutes each how many people can you see and before the first four hours you are probably worn out and fatigued so they're like, okay maybe this is a bit easy on me and i do not have to rent that hotel no. um boardroom i do not have to go through all of that stress and i can be on holiday while i still make this and really and truly they're going to they're going to have to read the script anyway yes so that eventually is, they will have eventually, to read the script. Yes, yeah yeah so it sort of brings ease for them and for the actors for them it's both ease and it's more cost effective if you live in any part of lagos for instance and you have to take a paid cab to the venue of the audition that's money though and for even if you're flying yellow buses that's still expensive in some ways and that means if you attend one audition that's the only place you can be on that Saturday. But our platform allows you to be in several places at the same time mm -hmm. without being in any of those places. How long did it take you to build this platform? Who built it for you? Was it local? Was it international? Did they have collaboration? Um, um, it's been two years now. We've been trying to put this together and we've been trying to research who can do this around. Initially, we didn't get and we tried um, hiring some people from India. But that again took a not so right um, turn. So we said, okay, we'll just um, try things at home and we'll take a trip to Yaba and we began to shop in Yaba. Mm -hmm. We began, of course, our own Silicon Valley. We began to shop in Yaba until we landed this very cute company called Exolve and um, we began to talk with them. We shared the idea with them. And, and luckily it. for us, we had two of their founders who are failed actors. And the failed actors, they got frustrated from the stress of audition. So it was easy to sell it to them. So they're like, oh, wish this came 10 years ago. Don't worry. Uh -huh. You might not be part of this, but at least be part of building it yeah. and we began to build it and um, we've gone past testing now and we are really really impressed with the amount of people who want to just jump in already we fear that we might be overloaded but we're making big plans too for expansion so 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 how many people are on the casting side how many directors are plugged in so far so how, so um, how active is the community the community is getting active right uh, right now we have returning 
actors who are returning, we have like a hundred. Okay. Right. And for the casting director, we have like six, who primarily are people that I already know from my experience. Yeah. Like, okay, guy, this is my stuff. You want to put your audition on this? Okay, yeah, it's okay. Let's try it. Let's start working. And because these guys are industry drivers, we believe that the more they push word out that this is the platform that they are working on, we'll get more people on the platform. So, so how old is this platform? How? How old is the platform? Um, we had a particular demo version. Yeah. They had been there for a key year. Okay. But um, after we got some good funding from our friends at Diamond Bank, okay. yeah, <laughs> we have um, done a super facelift and okay. inner engineering work. So the new one, it's the new one, the new debugged one is just in its testing phase. Okay. We're still working with our demo. Okay. So what? So what? So in terms of um, aspirations, how many people? How many people do you want on that platform? How many actors are there? And how many? What? What piece of the pie okay. do you want? Um. There are over 15 channels on cable TV that get content from Africa, sorry, from Nigeria. And that, I'll be right if I say from Lagos, so to speak. So we are saying if these channels have repeat content of eight hours a week, that's a lot of demand for actors. That's a lot of demand for actors. We only want 3,000. Well, that's all. That's all. So how do you monetize this? Okay, we, we are subscription based. Yes, yeah, okay. we're subscription based. Okay, so good. these actors pay a returning fee of uh, 3,000 naira per month. Okay. Look, even at a thousand actors returning, mm. that's about 3 million naira a month, yeah. right? And that's like 36 annually. Yeah. Yeah. So that's very viable in our calculation, okay. right? Okay. So <clears throat> subscription based. And then um, we think that by the time we get grasp of the industry very well, we'll have to make the casting directors pay also because we just made their lives easy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, so, question. Um, I mean, part of the problem, you know, of, and I, I think the film in the, in that industry is structure. Um, yeah. Just, uh, and that's why it's very difficult to get funded. Yeah. Because you don't, we, there's no, nobody, there's no transparency as to what the value will have, the, you know, the cost of the film, how much did you make, um, and then, so what's the value of this particular act to ABC? It's your platform. I, I, so, how, how do you think your platform is going to help in, should I say, put some structure, put some structure, making, should I say, financiers or equity investors say, okay, now I can see the future value of this and I'm going to put um, some money in it. Yeah. Well, uh, it's very true. Every time walking to the bank, the first thing we hear is that your industry is not bankable. And then, um, okay. without lying, yes, we know. It is bankable, just that we don't, yeah, we, we, it's, we don't it's have information. Yeah. Yes. So, on our end, what we're doing is, these actors so that we can actually um, put value on them. We have an extension of our company, yeah, which is the talent management side, right? We sort of put, um, if you permit me say, stars and ranking on them. So you know that this particular cadre of actors, this is what they are worth, this is what their daily rate is, right? So you can have an idea of what they are worth annually. So if you have this much of them busy in this year, this, this is the average of the figures that might be coming in. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, you know, a platform could be like, a management platform. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. 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 So we split. We have ta talent management. They have like agency services. Okay. Yeah. For some people. Okay. So we're trying to put some value tagging system, rating system on actors, so that when people, mm -hmm. yeah, want to hire people, that like, okay, this person, this person, this person, you already have an industry idea of what the what is. That if you populate that figure, you can have an idea as per acting. This is what this industry can deliver. I don't know what it can deliver as per equipment or as per locations or as per the directors but at least for this side that we're holding now we'd like to present a report to the country that okay this is what this place is valued at fantastic so um final question i, I think i mean first of all i think that i think it's, um, the industry needs this kind of service thank it's, you i think nollywood contributes like one one or two percent of gdp so just take a small percentage right, of, of the that pie. yeah a, a, a little a little, a little taste of the pie this is so right. Before and after BET, how is life, hmm. business life? It has been totally different. Before and after BET has been totally different for me because for me, before BET, it's just been that energetic guy who just wants to get things done. Very haphazard, right? So getting to that program just sort of tapped me and aligned me in my kissing. And it taught me a lot of things, a lot that I would have been able to pick on the street. <clears throat> uh, especially the areas of organization, yeah? You want to run a company, you want to have some structure in it, have some system in it, see operations work well. So BET has really brought that to the forefront. And I'm happy that I was there because if not, I don't even know how to 
put people together. I mean, as, apart from a film set anyway, yeah. put people <laughs> together and um, tell them, okay guys, this is the vision, yeah, this is what we're chasing, and these are the milestones per month, six months, annually. So now, I'm gradually feeling like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, thank you for coming on to be Thank you so much. Uh, so, talk, talk, talk. I'm BT too. I'm BT, of course. I'm BT, and uh, good luck, your ventures, and we'll continue the thank conversation you. offline. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.